Are you trying to run C++ in Visual Studio Code but nothing works? In this video I'll show you the easiest setup step by step so you can start coding right away. We'll download the right compiler, connect it to VS Code and run your first C++ program together. If you haven't downloaded Visual Studio Code yet, go to the link you see on the screen and click download. Once it is downloaded, open the installer, accept the agreement and go next, next, etc. Make sure to uncheck Launch VS Code option at the end or close the IDE for now. C++ needs a compiler to translate your code into something your computer understands. If you are on Mac or Linux, make sure to install GCC and Make. On Windows, head to the official MinGW website you see on the screen, head to Downloads, Pre-built Toolchains, scroll down and click on winlips.com and then click on the Download link. Scroll down until you see the release versions and select the latest zip archive link. Once it is downloaded, unzip it and move it somewhere else, for example in C MinGW. For this tutorial, I'll just leave it in my downloads folder. After that, you need to add the bin folder of MinGW to your system environment variables so that Visual Studio Code can find it. Go to the Start menu or press the Win key, type Environment Variables and click on Edit Environment Variables for your account and double click the Path variable in User Variables. Now click on New and then on Browse. Navigate to the MinGW folder and select the bin folder inside. That's it. Now click OK and OK to close the variables. Next, let's open Visual Studio Code. Go to the extensions marketplace and install two important ones. The C++ extension from Microsoft. It gives you IntelliSense, debugging and code navigation. And C++ project generator. We are almost ready. Click Ctrl plus Shift plus P and type create C++ project. Give it a name and choose a location. The plugin created all the necessary files. You can build and run the program from the debug panel. Another way is with the CPP file opened to click on the debug or run icon. Make sure to select debug pre-launch task. Congrats, you just run your first C++ program in Visual Studio Code. Finally, let's test debugging and setting a breakpoint. Perfect, everything is working. If this video saved your time, hit like and subscribe for more coding tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.